Hi again, I'm Dylan Black. Welcome to Daytime right here on Rogers TV. You know, if you're getting ready to take a trip, sometimes having a talk with a pharmacist first, well, it's a good idea to make sure that you're uh, staying healthy, that you're staying on track. And he is here to help. He's the owner and a pharmacist at Shoppers Drug Mart. Two locations. It's Jordan Clark. Hello, Jordan. Hello, Dylan. It's good to have you back on yeah, the program. Great to be here. Thank I you. I know every time you're here, you're just full of so much knowledge, keeping people healthy. Where are those two locations we can find you at? So we have Westboro, so 410 Richmond Road, and then Fairlawn Plaza, so uh, right across from Carlingwood Mall mm -hmm. on uh, Carling Avenue. Okay. Uh, now, I, I read this st statistic before you get to some tips. Only 23% of Canadians are checking with pharmacists before they do anything really health related. Why yeah, is that? Yeah, it's a funny stat, right? I mean, only one quarter of the population is doing that before their trip. I think there's a couple of reasons. One is people are just so excited about getting away, getting away from the winter, getting away from the cold weather, that they really want to just focus on their trip. And they're maybe thinking that where they're going may not have any risks of getting sick. What we do know is a lot of people travel down south to the Caribbean, sometimes overseas as well. And those places, although they're nice and warm and sunny, they do have some risks when it comes to some infection and different things that you may pick up when you're there. Okay. Traveler's diarrhea, you hear about it. Stomach bugs, yeah. stuff like that. It happens a lot, uh, a lot more than we would like it to happen. Mm -hmm. And when you think about these trips and people spend money on whether it's a week or two weeks away, you really think about what each day costs. So if you're out of commission for one, one of, or two days because of you pick up a bug when you're there, you really think about how much money you're spending on those days that you're wasted. Yeah. So luckily we're able to try to prevent them. We know that it occurs anywhere from 50 to 90% of the time that people travel especially when we look at places like Mexico, Cuba, and other uh, areas in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of prevention, there are some vaccines that are available and other recommendations that we do make to prevent from getting sick and from bringing those bugs back home with you as well. Okay, lots of recommendations coming up as mentioned, but we have to talk about the coronavirus. It's in the news, it's, it's, sure. it's a top headline. When it comes to this virus, as much as they're trying to contain it as, as possible. I mean, are there ways that we can stay safe when we're traveling? Yeah, absolutely. So coronavirus, there's lots, there's been lots in the media, lots of discussion about it, lots of panic about it as well. We see in the pharmacy lots of questions, people buying up hand sanitizer and masks for when they're flying. Generally, we have the same recommendations that we do every season when it comes to colds and especially with influenza. Uh, so hand washing, hand sanitizer, avoiding crowds, plenty of rest, lots of fluids, eating healthy. Mm -hmm. Those are some good recommendations. Of course, avoiding any areas where we do know that um, you know coronavirus is more prevalent. But generally speaking, when people are traveling throughout North America, just following those tips is the best thing. Mm -hmm. The other thing that's important to keep in mind is that influenza is more likely to make people sick this time of year. And throughout the uh, flu season. So it's still a good time to get your flu shot and also get it earlier in the season. So something to keep in mind for next year as well. Okay, how, how long does it take for a flu shot to, to take effect? To it takes about two weeks, two but weeks. it does start to provide some immunity right away. It has something in there, it's called an adjuvant, and I describe that to people as a little spark plug for the immune system. So your body's actually producing antibodies to fight against influenza almost right away, but it does take about two weeks until your body has full immunity against the flu. Okay, when we are uh, traveling, what are some of the activities that we uh, partake in that will cause sickness? Uh, like drinking different waters, salad bars? Yeah, it's almost everything that we do. And it's things that we sort of take for granted that we actually look forward to when we're going away. Mm -hmm. So maybe enjoying a mixed drink that has ice, uh, eating at a salad bar or a buffet, even sometimes going to a spa. So these are all things that can potentially lead to infection, lead to things like hepatitis, uh, which is something that we want to avoid. But luckily, we can prevent those things with vaccines and also some just general uh, health and safety tips before traveling. Okay. So obviously, you should probably take a list of your medications with you just in case anything yeah, happens. Yeah, absolutely. It's a there. great idea, and we do recommend that anytime you're in the pharmacy, especially before you're traveling, ask your pharmacist to give you a detailed list of the medications that you're taking. Also, have a look at the dates that you filled them. The last thing that you want is if you're delayed by one or two days on your way back or on your way there and be stuck without your medication. So to make sure that you actually are going to have enough to last the duration of that trip. Mm -hmm. And just in case there's any problems, in case you need to obtain a prescription or obtain maybe an antibiotic when you're away, mm -hmm. that wh whoever you're dealing with in that particular place can make sure that it's going to be a safe uh, medication for you to take with what you're already taking. Okay, when you're down there and you do get sick though, are things a little more challenging to get it these medications? It can sometimes be a challenge. Um, prevention is often the best, uh, the best route. So come in, talk to the pharmacist. We have some really good recommendations of things that will tell you to bring in your whether it's a first aid kit or just packing your bag uh, when you're traveling so these are medications that if you anticipate the most common uh, ailments that people will get when they're on vacation when they're in the the warmer sunnier places you'll actually have that medication it's actually 
going to be a lot less expensive as well if you're buying it uh, here in Canada versus when you're buying it on a resort at uh, maybe a gift shop where the, mm -hmm. the selection is a little bit more limited. For sure. Plan is something that you should plan to do. What yeah, does PLAN stand yeah, for? Yeah, so PLAN, so we want people to prepare before they're going. So really thinking, you know, six to eight weeks before they go. If they are getting vaccinated, some of the vaccines require more than one dose. So it may be a series of several injections or oral medications that people are taking before they go. So we want to make sure that they're giving themselves enough lead time to actually take those medications and then also take off on their trip on time mm -hmm. and have full immunity versus whatever they're going to be uh, wanting to combat before they go. Uh, so that's the first one is to prepare, uh, again, make that list of medications that they may want to buy over the counter, get their list of current medications that they're taking. So that's the first one. The next one is learn. So we want to learn about where we're going. What are the risks? What are some things that may cause problems for me when I'm in this area? Mm -hmm. Am I going to stay on a resort? Am I going to go off of the resort? If I go off of the resort, are there other things that I need to keep in mind? Ask questions, so A, so ask your pharmacist, ask your doctor, uh, you know, ask a travel clinic. In this case, you know, come in and talk to your pharmacist. Um, we're there to answer those questions about your medications and about the destinations that you're going. Mm -hmm. Um, and then N, um, we just want to make sure that people are doing it now and not delaying for later. Okay. Yeah. 30 seconds left here. You should see a pharmacist about six to eight weeks before you actually, why so early? Yeah, before the well, trip? one thing is we can often give you some of the medications right away that are available to be purchased over the counter. Other medications will recommend that you see your doctor. So it gives you time to see your doctor, obtain a prescription if necessary, bring it back to the pharmacy. Mm -hmm. It also gives time for that medication to start to work to make sure that you're going to have that full immunity before you go because we want people to enjoy their trip, have a great time, not bring any of that ailments back with them. Perfect. Shoppersdrugmart.ca slash travel. Keeping us healthy. Thank you, Jordan Clark. Thanks for having me. Great Always to be here. Always a pleasure. And more daytime coming up on Rogers TV.